<laughs> Often as we think about how can we make this most like being in person with someone, yet there's something really powerful about saying, uh, and so that, that's a great question. How can we make this most like being in person? Another question, which I think is a little bit more interesting as a facilitator is how can we make uh, virtual meetings better than in-person meetings? What are things that we can do virtually that we can't do in person quite as easily? Look at these uh, questions and uh, think about one that you would like to answer. Most adventurous thing I've ever done. I think uh, one of them was when I was uh, I, I lived in South Africa several years ago. I was doing a grad, doing grad school over there, and a friend and I bought a ticket to Uganda. Uh, something memorable. So I, this is about our daughter Grace. So I always give her a, a kiss on the end of her nose, um, and this week was the first time where she she gave one back right on the end of my nose. So she's sort of learning how to you know respond. One of my favorite types of debriefs um, is themed around this idea that a tiny act can have profound effects. And so I often will end meeting. So I'll have people go around in alphabetical order and share the one tiny act that they think can have profound effects that they want to implement, that they're committing to implementing after the meeting is done. And just whip around really quick and share that. And there's something too about that language, a tiny act can have profound effects that also allows that to be a little bit short too, like I'm gonna do this, um, is that tiny act.